It's because you're not done or what? Wait, no, 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 what am I doing? That's right. What? What? Oh, what? What is up with this machine? It made a diamond. It's the wrong... Oh, a recipe seems to have broken a bit. That explains why they were gone. Wow, that was annoying. And we used up all the hydrazine. God damn it. Stupid thing. Hydrazine, ammonium, hydrogen. Please make you then. But that explains why I couldn't find them. But now at least you have a diamond that I have no use for. Yeah, I don't have a drill mod one yet, so uh, I want the graphene to activate the planet, but I don't know why it was uh, messing up that badly. Let's see if I change it now. It's hopefully not gonna mess up. As I do need need you. And as soon as I get the Argon, I can get finally get a hydrazine powered Froster, I think. Which seems a lot better than that. Thank you. So number three is the best, and it's only one diamond. Oh, well, good we have one diamond then. And I don't have to worry about that. Should we change this to something else, by the way? Get methane. Not sure what is useful yet, but let's just get a bit. I have one slot, so that might be fine. Okay, one, two, three. That is good. The power supply is getting quite drained over here. So what should we take in our little thing? I want to bring this one. Wait, we'll go here right after. I might not actually need to bring that. I just need to bring enough to make an atmospheric condenser. And that just require that much. I just need to make this one. Need to bring the iron. That's very important. Luckily, we have a ton of that lying around. And we should also get some more resin meat. More resin than that, though. Let's stop you in. So, we can also just go get a bit more dirt, because that is needed, because we don't need to gather the batteries, we just need the dirt right now, to continue a bit. get two cans, then we should have enough for that one. Solitary frosts are the best because then after use you can scrap them for one and a half scrap each. Yeah, but I can't scrap things yet. I'm guessing when uh, when I can, I'll change my, uh, my view on it. But for now, let's get this medium uh, one filled with uh, with three medium power things 
and then travel between these two planets in rapid succession. We can get our beacons powered. Change you into that one. And you are still fine. And we'll just make one more. We'll fill you with all kind of goodies. So you'll have all of this. It's quite important. Activate things. We want to have these as well. We don't need to bring any hydrogen back. Maybe some methane. Not sure what it's used for, but I don't think Bas Basana has it. Well, we have methane here instead, so maybe bring a bit of methane back will be good. The rest we can make there. Let's just do this. What is methane used for, by the way? Might be something in here. Graphene, ammonia. Methane is used to make silicon. And quartz and resin, we can do that everywhere. Argon for steel. Alloy. Helium. Nanocarbon alloy. Probably is easy, plastic is easy. Yeah, so that's, that's not too bad. Do we have that? You can get one solid fuel thrust on that one. That's our emergency thing. Don't do we need to bring the power? Oh, we can do that when we have next time before we go to a new planet. Tungsten we can keep because that is mined on the moon. We should probably go to the moon as well. So I should probably bring this little setup. Now we need a solar setup for that. Since the moon doesn't have any wind. Something else. But I can get that on Kalidor and Silver and Kalidor we haven't been to yet, so that might actually not be a bad place to go next. I want to bring this, it's, it's quite good. Kalidor, do you have wind? No, oh, but you are very good at sun and you have, uh, what's it called, a ton of copper, so we might want to go there. So maybe doing three stops. No, no mind, no mind. I have the plan. We'll do, yeah, three stops, pretty much, to activate things. Three stop to, yeah. First, we need you to come with me. Get a bit more iron. Need a second one over here. Fill in more things on it. Maybe bring a few batteries, will be good. Also, we have a few. Have a bit to travel with. Hey, Kobai, yeah, still going strong. This is actually the base on my third, no, third, fourth world. And I'm about to go and activate the centralized core on uh, on my second planet now. So we can start to teleport between a few things. I want to bring this so we have some. And look, a bigger rocket. I have a medium sized one now, which is very good. Um, Did we want to bring more? We can bring one more of these if we wanted to. Go there. 
I don't think I want to bring anything else. We can leave the solid fuel froster. I have it through. Uh, I have it through what's called Steam. I actually didn't know you can get it through Microsoft. But what if we do this? Yep. Then again, in this first playthrough, I'd rather play alone. Maybe in the second one we can do one. That'd be quite cool. Game Pass. So this is going strong. I think we have everything I want from here. Let's just check one last fine. I need to be able to make this. Plastic glass. I'll just make the plastic when we're here. Might as well. Plastic compound. Carbon. We'll just burn you for some carbon, please. Compound. Make one more plastic just so we have it. Are you still stuck at work? Have your colleague not helped you out yet? Or did he abandon you one more time? <laughs> Hopefully you don't have sound on at the moment so he could hear me. <laughs> oh, the power is actually going quite badly. Might be because we stole the power from here. And added it to, uh, to this one. Let's just get this back for a little while. There wasn't, there wasn't even any new power, that was just the old power. Could have been fine then. Uh, no, I don't have a uh, game pass. I can't even remember where it's, where it's for. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So, good enough, go by. <laughs> I don't want to get you in trouble before your big night tonight, where we find the, uh, or I'm about to say we, but where the community finally launches the rocket on Panadon. That is gonna be so good. Yeah, of course, I'm turning, tuning in for the launch. Yeah, I could probably jump on the server as well, just to see it. Uh, since you're streaming, I won't be streaming it though. I think that I don't think that would be fair to you guys, unless you want me to. Oh. Get you back there. Let's get the plastic. We can take some hydrazine as well. Some hydrogen, just to have a bit going for us. More hydrogen. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. But I don't need that many free games. Oh, I don't want to pay for that many games because I don't play that many games to be honest. And if I was to get a, a game pass I might actually get it from Humble Bundle instead. Because those guys, those guys are quite, quite good. So power, solid fuel, and this one. And we have the plastic, glass, and iron for this one. Get one glass so we can make it right off the bat. Let's take this. Let's go to, wait, 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 wait. I just almost, almost made a mistake. I actually want to make, what's it called? Uh, launch pad here, or landing pad. We don't have to land a bit away. That should be a bit better. Please make a large printer. How much do you have left? Almost done. We'll just use this for a little while to put the large print on it. I think that'll be good. Oh, thank you for the follow, Tanifat. And welcome to the community. You're also welcome to jump on our Discord. 
a lot of things are going on there as well. Yeah, it's gonna be cool, and you guys have worked so hard to get it. It is, uh, <laughs> it's so good. What did it take you? A month and a half. It's gonna take me a year and a half then, before I get to that point. <laughs> yeah, I saw some screenshots on uh, on the Discord about it. Yeah, I think about 500 hours. What am I? I'm about 40 something hours. So far. So I have a bit of a way. Uh, just put you here for a second. And the right way. Thank you. There we are. Could you make a landing pad? Ceramics and aluminium. We have the ceramics. Do we have the aloe? Probably don't because I haven't found it anywhere on this planet yet. Which is quite strange. But it might not be part of this planet. But I actually thought aluminium would be part of every planet. But I might be wrong in that assumption. Oh well, we'll land a bit off to the side. The first time Twitch. I talk about Twitch. Uh, tips for Twitch or tips for Astroneer? Uh, ten effort. So we can't make that. We'll just move it over here like we did last time. So let's go to Asania. We have what we need. One, two, three. Yeah. Then we'll bring some aluminium back. Both. Uh, for Twitch. Uh, I don't have... Uh, well, just stay here. Chat, have fun. Browse what people are doing. There's not really any rules here. Other than just being friendly. At least that's how I like it in my streams. Uh, about Astronia. I'm still quite new to it myself, but uh, do remember to always have a backup um, solid fuel thruster when messing around with, uh, with the planets. Otherwise, you could get in a situation where you're completely stuck. <laughs> For example, right now, my solid fuel thruster broke. It means I, should, I need to have a second one if I want to continue. So I need to hit the green one right there. But Twitch is good in the, in the way you can just jump in and, and chat with people. It's very good. So, here we are. So, the first thing I really want to do... Is, uh, is actually go... Wait, we should make the atmospheric condenser first. I think I have everything on before it. Atmospheric condenser. Because then we can start to condense the argon. Which we need on the moon. And then we can teleport back and forth, getting the things we need. Our power supply here is somewhat good. So, plastic, you can stay up here somewhere. Make a bit of a mess here again. Then with the hydrocene and this. No, we need it in a bit. And. There's the iron. Stop rolling away. So. Some resin to make a platform for it. And then it can start to do its thing. Oh, please get done. Then I can place it maybe just behind there. Or you can maybe just, yeah. Let's say, put you over here. And go back, make large platform B. Then it's good. But since it's the first time on uh, Twitch, Tain Effort, welcome to Twitch. I'm still rather new myself as well. 
been streaming for about a month and a half, I think. Doing YouTube on the side. Pretty much started with YouTube uh, almost a year and a half ago now. This is getting to that point. So wanted to do a bit of... Uh, what's called a bit of Astroneer. Oh, really? I'll complete it, trust me. <laughs> That's one thing I do. I do complete games. That is... Uh, it's good. And luckily it's vacation for me right now. That's why I can stream in the middle of the day. When I get back to work in a few weeks, it'll be after 4pm Central European time. That will change our schedule a small amount. Give you a bit. Get you in there. Hook you up. And do that. And let's say I want you to get the Argon. Thank you. So now Argon is being produced. Uh, hopefully our power can sustain all of this we're going to do in a second. Let's get ourselves a medium. Medium platform? No, that was wrong. Stop. Medium platform? No. Medium storage. There we go. We also need to go and find some sink. I can't remember if this is sink here, because then I can make bigger batteries. Which would be uh, very nice as well. We can stay here as well, methane. So, there we are. Yeah. And that will slowly produce argon for us. That is what we needed on the other planets. And where is the three things we needed here? One, two, three. So guys, let's go and activate this planet. It's been a long ways away, but we should have everything we need now. Uh, right now, I'm going uh, between planets and uh, activating uh, the central core. So for the few hour, last few hours, I've been making graphene on the uh, novice. Ooh. And now I've gotten the free graphene I need to activate this planet so I can teleport between them. I'll just show you in a minute. I also activated on the homeworld, the silver, whatever it's called. And now this is the second one I can activate it on. And then I can teleport between our bases. Yeah, they're launching... Uh, the rocket tonight. They have made insane progress. Kobai is going to go live in, what is it Kobai, about six hours? Yeah, about five and a half hours, I think. It'll go live. Let's see here. There's the core. Whoa, gravity's a bit messy down here. So let's do this. Okay, so let's go to the middle of the world. So, Tenefit, this is pretty much the core of a planet. Some uh, alien structure where gravity is uh, a bit, bit messed up even, is what I'm trying to say. I'll show you. Um, the first thing you do is uh, up top there's a beacon. You have to power that, giving it a certain amount of power for a few, or for about half a minute. I have to do that, this area unlocks down here, where you have to gather certain kind of items to unlock the planet, or activate the planet. But this one, we needed items with this symbol. So to find out what symbol this, you can press escape, go to the rockets, go to resources, and if you look at, uh, where is it at, and I find it again, right here. Graphene, that has the six dots and this hexagon thing in the middle, the same one here. So I've been working towards getting those three we need and I finally got them. So hopefully it's the right resource. It is. And as you can see, that activated that one. Oh, don't tell me you only need one. Oh wait, come back. <laughs> so you pretty much just need one thing to activate this. 
and you put in more. No. You pretty much need one thing, and then you get this item from it. The geometric type something. And right now we're locked in, because they want you to remember to use it in here before you leave. Then you take that thing to this centralized location, and put it in. And that's going to activate the planet, doing this. So now it's awakened, as they call it in the achievements, giving us a little odd stone. You gaze into this one. As you can see, this is the planet we are on. We have one on the surface, that is where our base is at, so in theory we can just teleport to our base. And that is good and all, but the most important thing it can do... Look, this is where our base is at, up here. But the most important thing we can do with it is we can go to other planets without taking the shuttle. But for example, if I go back down here... Let's see here... Yeah. Oh, whoops, down. And then take this one. We can go to what's called the Bright Node, the Cosmic Elevation. It is like, um, if you've seen Marvel and 4, it's pretty much the gate to uh, Asgard. Something like that. Where all the planets you have activated is located. So you can pretty much just go and find planets you've activated and go from those back to other places. Uh, let's see if we can remember where the one is at that we activated before. Not here. At least that's how... Oh wait, we just probably just have to gaze into this one and we can choose another planet. So, does this need anything? No, that just requires those things. That's fine. So when we add this one, we can then gaze again. And now we have two planets. We have the one we came from. And then we have another one. It's not good at showing which one it is though. We have three planets activated. I couldn't remember that. But this should be our first planet. So if I click that one. we can teleport to another world. This is the correct one. Whoa. Yeah, this seems correct. Oh wait, no, I took the wrong one. Damn it. I took the one we haven't activated here in the middle yet. Oh, why does this game make things so stupid? Wait, no mind. It's up top. Never mind, we just have to go this way. It's just the gravity is a bit funky. There we are. I was about to say if they did that, I would have been a bit annoyed. And then we can jump to one of the other things. But I think we have to learn the symbols for the planets to be able to navigate a bit easier. Look at that. This is our first planet with our very first base. Now we don't have to take shuttles between between planets. Which is uh, quite good if you just have to get a quick trip here to pick up a few materials and then go back. That is, that is very nice. That is pretty much what you use them for in terms of usability. Right now I want to get some copper here to bring to um, the next planet I have to go to, so I can make some solar panels. So let's drop off some of our things here. We should probably make a storage area soon, but I've just been throwing it on the ground. So that is fine. I just need to plug in my phone. I can see it ran out of power. So now that we have this, we can 
collect some more copper from here. I have some in storage. 